Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to speed up any Mac without having to open the computer, remove the hard disk drive, and swap it for an SSD. Now this particularly works well with computers like this one that has a special seal around the brim that can't easily be removed and replaced. So this video is going to give you some ideas, some clarity, and a method on how to make any iMac, MacBook, any computer that you'd rather not open faster with an external SSD. Let's get into it. Now for clarity, this is a 2017 i5 with one terabyte internal hard disk drive. Very slow. Now for this method, we'll be utilizing these rear USB ports, especially this Thunderbolt Type-C port, which is the faster of the two types on this computer. Now in a nutshell, what we're going to be doing is using this M.2 NVMe SSD to boot OS Monterey from, rather than the internal hard disk drive. Now we're going to be using an NVMe enclosure for this M.2 SSD, which will hook up to the computer via USB Type-C cord. Now you can use something like this, but if your computer doesn't have Type-C ports, you could definitely use a 2.5 inch enclosure, like this plastic one or metal one which will give you a significant speed increase in comparison to the hard disk drive that's in your computer. And this method allows you to do this without having to open up the computer, which is great. Now, if you're working with an all metal enclosure, it's good practice to use a protective pad just so you don't scratch the encasing of this beautiful finish on this aluminum M.2 enclosure. Now we've got our brand new Kingston A2000, 500 gigabyte, which we're going to be using for this computer. In this application, what we do is just on an angle, slowly slide it in like that. And then this one will come with a little groove, a little piece. So basically I twist it like this, I lower it, pop it in, and then once it's in, I give it a nice turn. So now that's locked. That's not going anywhere. And then we just slide in the case and we're good to go. Now I've used 3M two-sided tape to secure the NVMe enclosure to the inside bracket of the computer's mount. So the leg of the computer. And I've only put 3M two-sided tape on this portion of the enclosure so that if for any reason in the future we'd like to upgrade or remove this M.2 SSD, we can easily just open, thus so, remove the M.2, replace it, upgrade it, and insert like so. Very easy, very practical. Now I've also made sure to wrap and give the USB Type-C cable a little bit of leverage and room from connecting to the Thunderbolt port via the M.2 enclosure so that if we would like to tilt the computer, it's not putting any pressure on either port which gives it a great installation flexibility. Now I've got my Mac OS Monterey USB installation key installed in one of the ports. We're going to use the option key to boot into this USB so that we can configure our new M.2 NVMe SSD as the main partition to run our new installation of Mac OS Monterey. Okay, now that we've got the OS Monterey key loaded, we just click on Disk Utility, it brings us to this window. Now we're going to see two hard drives. This is the internal hard disk drive that we're going to leave untouched because we want to retain our data currently on the computer. So we're going to select the Kingston drive or it'll be labeled whichever brand of SSD you decided to install in the enclosure. Now we're going to select it and we're going to go over to Erase. Now we're going to name this Mac. OS or whichever name you'd like. Make sure APFS is selected, GUID partition map, and select erase. Now this is going to format our newly installed M.2 NVMe SSD to prepare for Monterey installation onto that key, leaving the internal hard disk drive untouched. Now that it's complete, we're going to close Disk Utility, quit Disk Utility, install Mac OS Monterey. Select, continue. Now that it's loaded, we're going to click Agree. Agree to the terms, and we're going to select our external, which is 
this one, the 500 gig. Now you may see too, this is actually my installation USB key, so we don't want to select that. And this is the internal hard disk drive, so we're going to select the newly installed M.2 NVMe SSD. Click continue, and then sit back and let it do its thing. So I've got Monterey installed now and it's significantly faster. Now one thing I wanted to point out is that you will see down here Macintosh HD. That's your old one terabyte hard disk drive that was originally in this computer. And then up here you'll see Mac OS which is the new partition we created on the NVMe SSD. Now sometimes what will happen is if you want to keep this drive intact, you'll actually have to move the subfolders over to a backup on the NVMe that I created here so that we can reformat this Macintosh HD as a one terabyte secondary. So this is just something to keep in mind, but I mean this computer is significantly faster on this NVMe SSD, like night and day. So I've got the new OS installed on the SSD and while Monterey is updating to the newest version, I just want to give you guys an idea of how quick this computer has become in comparison. So here is our NVMe SSD which is running OS Monterey and this is the internal original hard disk drive which we've formatted and set as a secondary drive for storage purposes. I mean, overall, in comparison, this thing is just blazing fast, like literally night and day from what it was before this upgrade. Let's type in uh, cooking, blazing fast, no hesitation. Let's type in food, rocket ship fast. Let's go technology, <laughs> like it doesn't blink. Let's open up YouTube quickly. Let's stream a video see how the graphics card is working let's go to my channel and let's just play whatever comes up a little bit time for it to play the first time let's kick it up to 4k I mean that was quick to get to 4k Let's go full screen. Let's minimize. This is a great test for any internal graphics card. Stream 1080p or 4K video and minimize and maximize while the video is playing. That slight bit of hesitation that you see, I mean, that's pretty normal for 4K. Let's see if we experience that same time frame in hesitation in 1080. Yeah, it's definitely decreased significantly. I mean, for a computer from 2017, this thing is rocket ship fast now in comparison. Full disclosure, I ended up swapping the A2000 from Kingston for Western Digital's black NVMe SN750. Significantly faster boot time and a noticeable speed increase in comparison to the A2000 through the Wi-Fi adapter on Google Chrome in Monterey's 12.4, the Western Digital was faster with the same setup, faster boot time, faster real world functionality, overall a better SSD. Just wanted to let you guys know what I ended up going with. Really hope this video helped shed light on how to speed up any Mac. Hope you found value. Smash that like button. I'll see you in the next one.